Well, here I am. But... What should I do? Follow the Queen's orders? Or maybe... Ignore them and help this guy instead? This is all messed up. Let's just look around and see what happens. So hey guys, I'm James e. Spike. Welcome back to Lorelei. So this is chapter 5, um, Princess of Maggots. <laughs> Apparently I'm just permanently the Queen, the Queen of Maggots' slave, and I'm gonna try to kill this guy with his own thoughts? I have no idea. Uh, so we can smash things, destroy things if we wanted to. There's Al, he's in the bed. We didn't really meet Al in the chapter two, so uh, I guess... Well, he's definitely a redhead. He is. I don't think he'd feel it if I tapped his shoulder. Not a bad day outside. It's a bad day outside. Very retro. Nothing's happening. It needs new batteries. I can do fucking shit for So that. Al's got a pet bird. Interesting. Oh no. I could easily smash it to pieces. But I'll go easy on it for now. It's empty. Hmm. Well, what I gotta do? Okay, I transported through the door. <laughs> This is his wife. What a beautiful woman. I could kill some time on this sofa if I decide not to get in Al's way after all. Four time wow. Without Al watching, it's kinda pointless. I don't know if I wanna like commit to killing him. I don't know. It's kind of just... It's, it's weird, I don't know. There's nothing in the bathroom. It's just a door. Fuck physics. <laughs> Go through the door. Okay, what are we getting here? I should probably open it first. Corrupt? Oh! I spoiled rotten all his food. Ugh. I've already corrupted the shit out of this fridge. Yes. His powers are completely fucking bonkers. Ugh. <laughs> Sorry, Al. Uh-oh. He's gonna be pissy. Huh? How long was I sleeping? I wonder what happened. I mean, like, it's like, I can always, like, fix his problems, not even have to do anything, but... I don't know. I, can't, I just want to play along. See? I'm literally just playing along, yes. I want to see how far I can take it before I actually feel bad for this dude, because I don't know what shit about him. Meeting. It's good to see you all again. Also, as I'm sure you've noticed, we have a new member with us today. His name is Al. Hi, Al. How you doing, mate? Hello. Um, hi. You all right? We're good, Al. And we're very glad you're here. 
Now I know it's hard to open up to strangers, but remember, we're not here to judge you. We might all come from different backgrounds in life, but in the end, we're here because we have one thing in common. For instance, Robert there is a cab driver. Was. He's had a drinking problem for most of his adult life. But last year, when he crashed his cab, he realised it is indeed a problem. I nearly killed those kids. Haven't touched a bloody thing since. Then we have Davina. She's a full-time stay-at-home mum of three. Davina drank wine every night, as soon as the kids went to bed. Most nights. Not every night. And Charlie. Where do I even start with you, Charlie? I did it all, boys and girls. Booze, coke, meth. You name it. And, oh, I see Ollie didn't show up today. Again. I just hope he's all right. Doubt it. Yes, well, let me tell you how we do things here, Al. The group will hear you out, then, in turns, will offer advice and support. We'll never think less of you, though. No matter what your addiction made you do. And we'll never talk about it outside of this room. Today you can just listen to us. There's no pressure. But you'll feel better if you share. Will you try? Hmm. You don't belong here. <laughs> Not like that. You don't belong here. You're not like them. Maybe. Next time? Today I'd rather just listen to you guys. We're all friends, huh? We don't fight. No, that's alright. Don't worry. Whenever you're ready, Al. Who'd like to start instead, and tell us about their week? I'll go. I can't tell if that fix... Yeah, okay, I didn't fix anything. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's pretty much my plan, just to try to get him to kill himself. <laughs> It's so wrong, but I don't know. Hello. How can I help you? Hi. Um I'll have some batteries and uh menful bronsons, please. Yep. There's batteries. Whoops. I'm sorry. I must have done it by accident. I'll... I'll pay for it. Yeah... I'm afraid you'll have to. I d But you know what? They're buy one, get one free. Is that Susan? <laughs> so, yeah. At least you'll get one to take home with you. No, I, uh... I don't really want it. It's a nice wine. Otherwise, you'll just be wasting your five ninety nine. Here. Take it. You know you want it. You've worked hard lately. You deserve a treat. Let's make it your last bottle, yeah? Let's break him. I'll take it. Hey, you forgot your seat. 
ziggies. Is that actually? S oh, well. It's the same voice actress, but I don't know if it's the same person. Hey, Mitzi. It is okay. <laughs> you fancy a cigarette? Wow. Okay. Huh. So that's where she is. Cool. Got that. Okay. I, I didn't. See, I, I was too focused on the dude instead of Susan right there. But okay, that's cool. That's really cool. Well, now. It's the buy one get one free wine he was given in the shop. He hasn't opened it yet. I'll just leave it here in case he wants to drink it eventually. I don't think he'd feel it if I tapped his shoulder. Very retro. Nothing's happening. It needs new batteries. Okay, where are the batteries he had? This Stove strange that sigil on the key. I've seen it before. Now that I have these superpowers, I can just blink through it. Mm hmm. Where did he put the batteries? Oh, there they are. Thanks, mate. Oh, what can I do about the trash? Looks like Al's decided to clean that fridge after all. Good for him. I don't want to touch it. It's mostly that horrible moldy food from the fridge in there. Okay. Okay, now... Can I even do this? Okay. I'm too drunk. I'm too high. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Damn. Oh, shut the fuck up. Too drunk? Are you fucking kidding me? Hmm. I'll just leave it here. In case he wants to drink it eventually. Well, he's getting pushed over the edge. The phone. Hello. What? But I'm off today. No, I didn't change the rotor. I don't know who did. Did you ask Phil? He did? <sighs> yeah, I know what Mr. B's like. Fine. Give me 20 minutes. I'll come in. Hmm. Has he been staring at it? Red wine beef stew. Red wine. I see. Okay. I guess we'll just follow him wherever he goes. Is that Maria? Stealing sherry again. Do you think the lock's still busted? I mean, if a draft was to push that door, it wouldn't be anything to do with us, right? Mm hmm. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> hey, who's done that? Just let me out, will you? God, she's a bitch. Hurry up. Lucky that I'm not stuck here like Al. This shit isn't funny! They store some food products in here, including cooking wine. What? I don't know what the... Oh, I have to hold it, okay. I literally made it rain. A shame about your cool mobile. We fucked in the rain. What a shame about your cool mobile. Getting fucked by the rain. Yeah, bitch. Whoops, I'm a caps lock on. Okay. <laughs> oh, just go ahead and have your bloody drink if you want it so much. Because you will. Eventually. We both know that. <laughs> oh, this is fucked. <laughs> I don't know why I want to be the bad guy now. I, I even said in chapter 2, I'm just like, I don't want to be... I don't want to be the bad guy. I want to be a good guy. I want to save people. Or do anything positive. I don't know. Kind of doing the opposite right now, so it's different. <sighs> yeah, it still fucks. Oh well. What do we got here? Pick shot. Oh yeah. What are you doing in the bathroom, mate? You taking a bath? I suppose a nice hot bath is what he needs after a day like this. Yeah. Let's wait. I think he's about to fall asleep. Oh, fell asleep. Inner dream? Oh, cool. So I'm dead, hunting him, entering his dream. This is so weird, but it's so cool. Oh, that's a nice dream, Al. But shall we make it a little more interesting? Yep. Oh my god. Man, I want to play this on my on my off time just to get the good good stuff for him. But right now I'm just doing this for the playthrough just to get somewhere. That's scary as fuck, dude. I bet anyone who's watching was being like, JMC, why you gotta be such a prick? Well, you can't tell me what to do. Okay, it's my channel. I can tell God to kill himself if he wants. That's so terrible. <laughs> Someone's gonna say that, take that way out of context. You alright? Um, yes. You? 
We need to talk, Lorelai. Okay. Follow me. Okay, Jimmy. So, you're working for the Queen of Maggots now. Toying with people's lives. Killing parasites. I don't really have a choice. There's a whole bunch of people that will suffer if I don't do this. People I promised to save. Yeah, but that's not Al's fault, is it? Who are you to decide about that man's life? I'll tell you who I am. I'm a survivor. I will do whatever it takes to get through this and save my loved ones. I won't hesitate. And if it means sacrificing a stranger's life on the way, then so be it. Well, I hope you realize that Al's walking a very thin line here. So am I, Jimmy. So am I. Fine. I'm not here to lecture you on morality. I came to ask about the real Queen of Maggots. What happened in the tunnel? Oh, you did give me a broken lighter. First of all, thanks for giving me a broken bloody lighter. What? It worked fine when I tried it. Well, it did not for me. I had to make fire the old school way. It turned out one bomb wasn't enough. I had to use it to clear the blockage in the tunnel. And that's even before I found the monster. I'm sorry, Lorelei. I should have prepared better. Yeah. You done fucked up, but Jimmy. Now that I've seen that thing, I agree. We must destroy it. I'm glad you think so too. That monster was huge. Are you even sure the bomb would kill it? No. Of course I'm not. But unless we find a rocket launcher, we are kind of short on options here. Anyway. It seems to be weak to fire. And I'm pretty sure that oily pool it's sitting in would burn like a torch, too. Sounds like you need to make more bombs. I'll figure something out. But I need you to promise me something. I don't like making promises I can't keep. I don't like making promises I can't keep. Just hear me out, please. If you manage to find a way out, and survive this, when you're back in the real world, go to 12 Helen Road. There is a spare key in the plant pot, right outside flat 3. Find me. And wake me up. I will try to do that for you, Jimmy. Whoever the hell you are. My name is Davina, and I'm an alcoholic. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This has been a difficult week. The kids are doing my head in. I mean, sometimes. Sometimes I feel like I could just strangle them so they would shut up. But I won't, obviously. They're my kids. I love them so much. But... <laughs> Every time they spill stuff on the floor, 
And every time they screamed their little heads off or fight about some stupid toy, I start thinking about it. It's always there, you know? Why don't you encourage her in her efforts? Why don't you encourage her in her efforts? She just needs a bit of support. Oh shit, I meant the fuck. I do have kids, so I don't really know what that's like, but... I meant to suck you know, what? For some reason, I remember something Bill Murray once said in a movie. I think it was lost in translation. Yeah, well, he basically said, it's true that kids are hard, but they grow up to be the most delightful people you will ever meet in your life. So what I'm trying to say is, be strong. Being a mum's never easy. But in the end, You'll know it was all worth it. I saw that film. I don't remember that line, but I sure remember him drinking a lot of whiskey. Ah, whiskey. We were the best of friends once. What? Okay. I don't want to touch it. It's mostly that horrible moldy food from the fridge in there. Hey, Al. I could kill some time on this sofa if I decide not to get in Al's way after all. It's watching TV now. I can switch the channel. What's he watching? Huh. I don't know. I'm gonna change the channel. <laughs> Mr. Rockman. <laughs> That looks so good. Oh, it's triggering something on him. There we go. Okay, at least the little orientation thing didn't plus one it. Almost done with this man in a terrible way, but it's got to happen. It's got, it's got to happen. I gotta get back to uh, my loved ones. Sounds like the postman's arrived. Let's see what we got in the mail. It leads onto a quiet little street. It's a laggy right here. Woo. Hello. I think these are about to be delivered as soon as the courier is done with his mobile. I'm a swap. The writing on the large parcel says, The finest selection of lager and bitter, right to your doorstep. Oh, 
Well, yeah. The writing on the large parcel okay. says, "The finest selection of lager and bitter, right to your doorstep." I think I did good, bad. I don't know. I forgot what name it was at first. I was just fiddling around. Oh, there you go. Dear Al, I've decided to write this letter because we never really had a chance to say goodbye. Janice told me you'd given up the drink. I couldn't believe it at first. Then I heard about the group therapy. And, yeah, it looks like you finally admitted that you have a problem. I'm impressed, Al. But it's too late. This wound is never gonna heal. I hated you for so long. I wouldn't know how to love you now. Now, after all this time, I understand you never wanted to hurt me. You were ill. I can never forgive you for what you did, and yet, I hope you can still turn your life around and be the good man you once were. Goodbye, Al, and good luck. Mm -hmm. Inside my head just to get away Run into the riverside Just to sink down into the ocean sand Where I am now When I need you so bad about the one I don't deserve Is this my fate to be your biggest mistake Where are you now When I need you so bad Black hat and a crow Always guiding, always guiding my path Oh my god. <laughs> That's how you wanted to go. He wanted to get. Okay. Mm. Okay. <laughs> 